They're obviously about public engagement, it's about people raising people's awareness about science and how it relates to them. I think they should also be more than that. I think they should be making people think questions that they don't normally ask. It's that sort of combination, if you like, of aesthetic impact, biological background, and then the physics and the chemistry of how those images were created as well. Welcome Images is actually a free resource that's available to anybody online. You can just access it and download images. You can use them in study. They can be used in teaching and publishing and broadcast. And they cover um, biomedical science, clinical medicine and history of medicine. There are over 150,000 images available online. The Image Awards are a way of recognising the best of the images that we've acquired since we last held the award. So it's a retrospective thing, but we are selecting from what is already a very selective collection because when we're acquiring images, we're not having stacks of images submitted to us throughout the year. We are actually going out and looking for these images, selecting them very carefully, speaking to the scientists. We then create a short list of between 100 and 150 images and those are the images that are shown to the judges on the day. Actually what's really interesting about doing the judging is listening to the thoughts of the other judges and because you might have someone who's brilliant in microscopy or someone who is a designer you suddenly start seeing these images through their eyes and you start seeing things that you didn't see initially because of course you're seeing the image according to your own filters. This year um, it's very varied. Um, we have 19 winners. The techniques range from the scanning electron micrograph which essentially is a surface map of the subject. Um, so for example the, the bird of paradise seed looks like something from outer space. It's, it's crisp and clear with perfect depth of field to um, confocal microscopy, looking right into the depths of the sample. We also have images created using light microscopy. Some of them are the most um, interesting in the show. In celebration of the 10th, 10th Welcome Image Awards, what we're doing this year is also celebrating some of the other images that we're acquiring into the collection, so photography per se. We're also acquiring images created by artists, so illustrators who might be trying to convey either a complex scientific concept, such as genetic engineering, which can't really be conveyed by a microscopic image or a, a photograph. So it's, it's halfway between sort of art and science, really. This year we created a website for the awards that allows you to delve beyond the images. So you can view the images on your screen and then find out why they were created, find out more about the scientists, more about the illustrators, the photographers and the stories behind the images. And people will be able to find out more about the techniques used as well. They'll be able to actually see the scientists at work making those images using that equipment and it's quite interesting having seen the image to see the piece of kit that's involved in creating it. Well, I think people just come see the images if, if only because their images are stuff that they don't normally see. Even if they've seen the subject matter before, they're not necessarily presented in the way they've seen before and as a consequence they'll potentially have a new understanding or a new insight.